do, Darren, but what do you think the Danes are trying to do? Are they trying to speed up the game or yeah, slow it down? They're, they're trying to get Gale away from the net, but at the moment she's been too dominant. The English tactics seem to be working well. Thomas, he's just tried one of them, two rallies go and completely missed it. That time, no mistake. in the shuttle, mixing up the pace. on the Leybourne serve. from Gail Evans coming to the rescue.
wanted kill at the net from Label, just drifting long of that back line. Yeah, good call by the line judge. the first one, tried the next shot round the back. Disappointed, he had control of the rally. Again, thinking the shot was dropping out. Last English winners of the All England Mixed Doubles title. We have to go back to 1999 when Simon Archer and Joe Good beat the Korean pair of Ha Tai Kwan and Chen Jai Hee. further to find the last Danish winners of oh, the all in the mixed doubles. That was in 95 when Thomas Lund and Marlena Thompson took the title. This match far from over. Seven six in the second game. Trying to switch onto the backhand side of Thomas, but it's Camilla's forehand again that they've hit it straight to. Yes, yeah, landed in. Robertson backing off from the net. Should have stood his ground. the shuttle away from the Ruta Yule forehand. Quick points, the English pair are losing at the moment.
Joshua Schwong. She's on to it. One point. And now it's all level. Yeah, it's getting very tense out there. From six. 11 to 11 all in this service hand. serve from Robertson and looking at the stats from the opening game only two points scored in the opening game on the Robertson serve all the others off Gail Ems excellent serving Smash straight into the hip of Thomas. Really catching him unawares. Done well to get it back. Oh, perfect placement from Laybourne. Yeah, pulled Nathan out to the side found the gap in between the English pair. And that was a nervous-looking serve from Ruta York.
formation from the English pairing. Robertson calling to his partner that he was going to go back to thunder down the smash, leaving Gale to finish off from the net. Your time. tournament 
and they've reached the final unseeded. I'm sure we will see an awful lot more of them, but the moment belongs to the English pairing, Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems. Well, before this tournament started, all hopes were pinned on the mixed doubles. Huge pressure for Nathan and for Gail, and how well they've handled it. Gail runs to collect the flag. The presentation party already in place. But this is a moment that they will remember. To make the presentations the to the mixed doubles finalists, we welcome Paul Jepson, Managing Director of Yonex UK Limited, accompanied by John Havers, the President of the Badminton Association of England. Firstly, John Havers will make the presentation of the commemorative medal to the umpire, Eldiko Lundqvist of Sweden, and her service judge, Mike Walker from Canada. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the runners up are from Denmark, Thomas Leiborn and Camilla Ritter Jewell. What a week they've had. They acknowledge their supporters in the crowd, and my goodness, there has been a lot of Danish Paul support. Paul has presented the check, and John Havers presents the medals. John Havers, president of the Badminton Association of England. Thomas Leiborn, presenting you. the medals. Obvious disappointment, but it was a great final and they really have had a tremendous week. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2005 Yonex All England Open Mixed Doubles Champions from England, Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems. years England have waited for this moment since the last winners of a mixed doubles title from Jackson, the home country. Presents with a check for $7,500 and John Havers presents the winners medals. Trophies, John, please. Nathan Robertson again ends. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be an opportunity later for the photographers. Could we ask Nathan and Gail, please, to make the lap of honour of the champions? Well, I think it may take a little while for Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems to make their full lap of honour. The crowd here at the National Indoor Arena on their feet. Everyone standing in acknowledgement of these great champions. Plenty of time to sign autographs later, I'm sure.
I think that Gail Ems is looking for her family in the crowd. There they are. Very proud parents. As indeed are all the English supporters.